Hey everyone, Sean here, and uh, this is an update on the Fluval Spec 3 Pico Saltwater Aquarium I put together over the weekend. So this is uh, day three, I believe. I um, put the saltwater and sand in on Friday, then Saturday uh, everything settled, and um, Sunday... I did put the um, Biospira in to start the cycle along with a uh, confish that I rescued from my 125 gallon tank. Um, one of my other critters, I'm not sure which one, I have some shrimp, I've got some uh, hermit crabs, some emerald crabs, um, some damsels, some other fish. Um, in the 125 and something took a chunk out of his little tail so um, I went ahead and rescued him and, and placed him in the uh, 2.5 or 2.6 gallon pico tank uh, just to give him a break and uh, also use him as a guinea pig uh, for this experiment so um, <clears throat> I did another water test today and as you can see the pH is sitting at 8 point, probably 8.2, ammonia is at 0, nitrite is at 0, and of course the nitrate is sky high as a result of what's happened with the biospire being added uh, to cycle the tank. So we'll just monitor the progress here so today I'm gonna to go ahead and um, give an update on what's going on uh, with the tank I've got two pieces of live rock in there uh, I'm not so happy about this uh, one that's on the ground and also I just realized yesterday that there were some hitchhikers in there um, I did put in two peppermint shrimp who are both hiding behind the tall rock and I'm gonna go ahead and pour some food in and uh, hopefully stimulate some action here and you may be able to take a look at the um, hitchhikers as well so bear with me Nice convenient hole in the top of the tank for feeding purposes. And as you can see, the maroon clown's very happy. He's eating. There's one of the hitchhikers there. They come out immediately when uh, food starts to drop. I guess they can taste the water. I'm not sure um, what happens there, but they come out immediately. There are several of them in the rock. So I've added um, an empty hermit crab shell and a hermit crab as well. So there's a hermit hiding behind a, a tall rock there. And uh, it'll migrate into that larger shell if needed. So I've got the, um, the two peppermint shrimp plus the uh, hermit crab for uh, cleanup duty to help with the cycle. So the... Algae doesn't get too crazy.
This is an awesome tank, by the way. The blue is beautiful, especially at night. If you're considering purchasing one of these things, I highly recommend it. Definitely worth the money and very addictive. I'm thinking of maybe doing another um, Fluval. I'm thinking the spec, I'm sorry, the Evo 5, which is a saltwater spec out tank uh, with better lighting and it has. Um, good enough lighting for coral which you know I plan on experimenting with some coral in here too I think that would be pretty cool I believe there's another guy on YouTube that has um, successfully grown some coral some um, GSP in his uh, spec 3 so I imagine um, that it would be uh, pretty feasible here so that's where we're at let me go ahead and turn the white light back on so you can say goodbye to the maroon thanks for watching my video